What's up, everybody? Hey, guys. hey my name is Marcus. I'm Reggie. And I'm Joseph. And we are the G Team. Team. And we are to the streets. Yeah, you don't want me on your squad, but I'm a worst contender. Read my past and all the past that I so journey to get here. Mama said, pray every day and learn the scriptures. All right, I'm gonna punch in right there. Mama said, pray every day and learn the scriptures. So I'm somewhere between the SCLC and the five percenters. I ball till my knees go out like Aboriginal, but my rhymes is hard to understand like some Chinese symbols. I was in the hood like a Mrs. Winners. I'm back now and came with bread like a chicken dinner. Is it still repentance if I know that I'll be sinning? Why does he let me take advantage of the life I'm giving? I'm in and out of spaces like NASA. I'm switching faces, trying to stay related. One of the main questions that I always get is, Joseph, how did you meet the other members of the G Pope team? I mean, I met you guys both <laughs> at church at Overton Park. Yeah, we met we met Reggie at church. I met Joe. We met at the bowling alley. But we were trying to get some bowling on and we both kind of new to the church, so we was like, man, let's get there early. We started planning how we wanted to impact the youth in our community and across the country. And, man. and it was only you guys. And I was like, eh, yep. they need a little feminine flair. Right, so right, right. I was like, I'll help them out. I'll yeah, man, we appreciate this little firecracker right here, man. She's, she, ain't, she, ain't she a firecracker? A little firecracker. <laughs> it's something else. It's like, our little, it's like our little sister. It's like though. our little sister. And they don't let me do anything or go anywhere. No. And we've turned into one big G Po family. It's not just friends. We don't just work together. We don't right, just right. minister together. But it's a friendship. It's a family. Right. We hang out. We chill. And that's that's the thing about this episode is teamwork makes the what? Dream work. work. You can't do it all by yourself. And so that's why we got this team. That's why we got each other. We all do different things. You know, these guys work. Mark is doing the creative stuff. I'm in graduate school. And it's not easy. You know, we all have different sets of challenges. But at the end of the day, we can all come together. We can sit down. We can talk about it like real family. And, you know, it just helps to have this kind of support around for real. I'm reminded of some of the great basketball teams in the NBA, and I always come back to the dream team. And I like <laughs> to think that team. everybody has their own special part in this ministry. We all know what our part is. Yeah. We don't try to go above and beyond, but we do exactly what our role is. Mm -hmm. And things right, are starting right. to move. We're starting to see lives change. Young people are starting to contact us. Churches and schools are starting to contact Man. us. Yeah. So it's really all of us coming together and working as a team that's making this dream become real. So what's one thing that people wouldn't know um, by just looking at you? That's a that's a real good question. That's a good one. One that's thing, great... you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a video game nerd, really. I actually put my video game, sold my video games to follow my oh. passion. So, you know, I love playing video games. Right. Man, I would sit up and play video games for like eight, nine hours a day. And what about you, Red? One thing, I am a weird eater. So <laughs> I love dessert because that might be one of the main reasons I'm always in the gym because, right, you know, right. I have to have cake like every day. But I'm, I'm a weird eater because, you know, guys, I like pasta. Right. I hate spaghetti. Oh, I like pasta. Spaghetti is disgusting. And I like tater tots, like, like hash browns. Right, right. I don't like french fries. What? I think that french fries are gross. <laughs> I love french so, fries. So, like, uh. forms of stuff, but it's just like the shapes. Right, I'm like, right, no, right. I, don't, I don't want that. So, I'm a weird eater. We're eating, okay? Yeah. What about you, Joe? What you got, man? You're probably gonna laugh at me, but yeah. <laughs> one thing that you probably wouldn't know about me, I am afraid of electricity. Bad childhood experience when I was younger. I was with my grandfather rebuilding his house and right. I wanted to touch some cords that I had no business touching. I saw this flash of light, I thought it was done. Man. And from that man. day forward, I've been extremely nervous to plug anything into a wall. I don't jump cars. People ask me to help them jump their car. I'm like, here you go. What's that? I do not like messing with electricity. Right. So right. if y'all see me in the streets, don't come up ask me to plug up anything. Don't ask me to come jump your car because your boy will not be able to do it. <laughs> I need to get a personal mechanic then. Right, yeah. right, because right, right. I can't right. help you with that. You don't need yeah. one. Fast. <laughs> hey, so that's a little bit about us. So what's one thing about you that you would like for us to know? Hey, comment below and let us know. Yo, what's up, what's up? Hey man, make sure you tell yourself, I am gifted and I am passionate. Hold on, Morris, let me get some. I am obedient and don't forget that I am valid. Hey, what you know what guys, most of all, I am God's point of view. And together, hey, we are the g Team. You don't want me on your squad, but I'm a worst contender. Read my past and all the past that I so learned to get here. Mama said, pray every day and learn the scriptures. Alright, I'm gonna punch in right there.
Mama said, pray every day and learn the scripture. So I'm somewhere between the SCLC and the five percenters. I ball till my knees go out like Aboriginal, but my rhymes is hard to understand like some shiny symbols. I was in the hood like a Mrs. Winners. I'm back now and came with bread like a chicken dinner. Is it still repentance if I know that I'll be sinning? Why does he let me take advantage of the life I'm giving? I'm in and out of spaces like NASA. I'm switching faces, trying to stay related to the ages that I tend to enter. Too smart for the hood, too good for the money. That hood money is good. But I'm trying to get wealthy, moving up in the world, so I'm acting white. But nothing's higher than God, and I'm his look alike. On the outside of the me and my kin. Got my lady in the front seat, feeding the wind with the pad.